everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. My name's Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. As always, don't forget to subscribe below. We talk about this every week, but it's so important for you to click that red subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and a comment on our video. Let us know how we're doing out there to hopefully educate you and take your business to the next level. Today we're talking about a basic guide to title insurance. Very basic guide. I want you to take some notes. We're going to have six points that we're going to talk about so you have a better understanding of what you're buying. So the first question we are always asked, number one, are the prices regulated or do they vary title company to title company? This is a very important question for you to understand as a buyer. The title insurance premium is what's called a promulgated rate in the state of Florida. Promulgated rate means that there's a title insurance premium that is set and you cannot shop it around to find different prices. The price is the price. Where the prices do vary though, there are some title companies that charge above promulgated rate, and as long as they disclose that to you, they're legally allowed to do so. Now, the other side of the charges, you have the title insurance policy, and then you have the settlement fees and any other type of junk fees, wire fees, courier fees, scanning fees, uh, all these type of, of different document preparation fees. Those are the fees that the title company is going to be charging for all of that hard work that they're going to be doing, but you wanna make sure it's reasonable and fair. We believe we have some of the best prices in town. Yeah, as always, you can go to titlerate.com, download our closing cost calculator. That'll give you a little bit of a better idea on what our charges are, and then feel free to go shop those charges around to some of the other competitors so this way you know if you're getting a good deal so the second question we get asked a lot is what coverages do I need slightly different than from homeowners insurance and car insurance and 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 other types of, of insurances that you may buy that protect future risk we basically issue you as a buyer what's called an owner's title insurance policy how much is it issued for the purchase price that you paid for the property so if you're buying a property for hundred thousand dollars we issue a policy for $100,000. And then for you lenders out there that are hard money lenders or regular conventional lenders, we issue you what is called a lender's title insurance policy. You do not pay for these policies twice. What you do is you pay the full price for one, and if we issue that second policy in connection with the same closing, it's simply a cost of $25 for what's called a simultaneous issue, meaning we're issuing one policy, and for $25 we issue the next policy. Now, the third question, and this is another big one that we get, especially the difference between Broward County and Palm Beach County here, because uh, we're, we're very close to the border, who pays for title insurance? That's a very important question. Who pays for title insurance? Well, it depends on what the contract says. Go back to a couple of videos ago where we talked about what box to check in your title insurance, in your real estate contract to let you know who pays for title insurance. It could be the seller, it could be the buyer. We always say that it's better for the buyer to pick and pay for the title insurance because you know you're picking someone that's looking out for you. Because ultimately the policy that we're issuing is going to protect you, the buyer, from any issues. So wouldn't you as a buyer like to select the person that's gonna be looking out for you and, and writing the insurance policy that you're getting as opposed to selecting maybe someone that the seller picked, maybe a family member. So always know that it's negotiable. It doesn't matter what county you're in, it's negotiable in the contract. If you as the buyer feel, feel more comfortable selecting the title company, then do so. Tell your real estate agent, I wanna select the title company, I will pay for title insurance to make sure I have the person looking out for my best interest and giving me my title insurance policy. So is the seller pushing a specific title company and why? That's another question that we get. We talked about that in depth in our, in our book that you can download on our website, Title Insurance Tips and Secrets. Is the seller pushing a certain title company? Does the seller have an ownership in a title company? Is the seller the largest single client for that title company, which means what? that they rely on that company to provide them business as opposed to you, the buyer, selecting the title company. We've seen a lot of things where we've asked for re-foreclosures on properties where our investors are buying and reselling property and they ask, we ask for a re-foreclosure that that title company did not have because they want to push that property off as much as possible. Remember, they're insuring risk, so if they feel it's not a big risk, they may just pass on it, but do you want to have to deal with that risk down the line no matter how big or small it is Probably not. So if someone is really pushing to use their own title company, 
you want to ask them why. If there's a real estate agent that's pushing their own title company, you want to ask them why. Maybe it's an in-house title company and the owner of the real estate company owns the title company. So there's an affiliated business arrangement where they push the agents to use a certain title company. Remember buyers, you have the right to pick and pay your title insurance. You have the right to select the company that's going to look out for your best interest. Do your homework, get their reviews, call and check their references, and make sure there's someone that's gonna stand behind the policy that they're issuing you. Now, this flows into the fifth question, which is who do I trust? You need to make sure you can trust the title company, and we've produced other videos that talk about some of the things you can look for. Most importantly, how long have they been in business? How many employees do they have in their office? Do they have multiple employees that are able to pick up if someone's out sick? Are you gonna get the answer that maybe someone's not there today, they'll get back to you tomorrow, or will someone be able to step in and handle that file? Do they have reviews on their website? Look on Facebook, look on Google. Do they have a lot of reviews? You know, when I'm looking to use a company, the first thing I do is I Google them, and I check for the ones that have the highest number of reviews. One or two reviews doesn't count because that could be a brother or sister, cousin or family friend. You wanna make sure you have a large number of reviews. Generally, a high percentage of them should be positive. You may always have a negative review here and there from a consumer, but for the most part, you wanna make sure they have a four plus star rating. I would check them out on Google, check them out on Yelp, and check them out on Facebook. If they don't, it means that they probably do not have clients that are giving them good testimonials you do the research and make sure you're getting someone that's gonna look out for you. Then to tie that into their insurance policy, when you call them, you wanna make sure they have what's called errors and omissions insurance and make sure they have what's called cyber liability insurance. Very, very important with all the wire fraud going on. Cyber liability is a very big policy. You wanna make sure that your title company is protected for because if you wire that money to the wrong person, you wanna make sure you have an insurance policy to be able to get that back. And then last but not least, when we're talking about who do I trust, you wanna check with their underwriter. Feel free to call who their national underwriters are. Ours are West Core National Title and Old Republic National Title. You can call them, you can verify us, you can go on their website and you can check to make sure we're in compliance, which means our escrow audits are right, our, we're licensed and insured, and that means we close a number of deals with them and we pass our audit every single year. Very, very important as opposed to dealing with maybe a company that does one or two closings and there's no audit done and they don't have any reviews of people that that have done business with them. So again, you as the buyer, you have the right to, to pick your title company and pay for that title insurance and make sure you select someone that's looking out for you. Last, how much reassurance do I need when you're closing on a deal? Again, another very good question that people ask us. The reassurance you need to know is that there's someone who's gonna stand behind their work. We can give you many references of clients that have had problems, because remember, it's an insurance policy, and there will be issues that come up from time to time, and it's who has your back to make sure that we're gonna step in and represent you to get the issue resolved. Our office, we have a philosophy that if you were to call our office with an issue, even if it's not an issue that we caused, It could be an issue from the front side title company. It could be an issue that maybe a real estate agent caused you. We stop what we're doing and we put a team of people on these issues to make sure they get resolved and go away as quick as possible because we're all about exceptional customer service. So I hope you got some valid points here with our numbers one through six, talking kind of a little bit of a guide to title insurance, the basics of what you can look for to make sure you have the right insurance policy and you have the right person watching out for you at your next closing. So as always, my name's Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title. Don't forget to click like, click subscribe, and leave us a comment. And as always, we look forward to seeing you at the closing table.